Beauty is Art and Art is Beauty by Christine Schrader Poems and Short Stories by William Butler Yeats, Margaret Atwood, Matthew Arnold, and William Blake Why is Art Beautiful and Beauty is Art? Art does not always have to be bright, colorful, and happy. Art can also be dark, messy, and angry. To understand the beauty within the art you have to understand the story behind it. Art is there to make people feel emotions, to remember a time in their life, to judge, question, and more. Everyone's perception of beauty is different. If one person thinks something is beautiful and another person doesn't that does not mean that it is not beautiful. Beauty is seen in a different way by everyone. In this poem The Wild Swans at Cool by William Butler Yeats I have a few words highlighted in different colors that stand out to me. As I read this poem I pictured 59 swans in a group together. It is a twilight autumn day. I feel peacefulness and loneliness. Remembering the first time he came to this spot. Everything seems to be still. The swans are unchanging. The 59 swans are like a beautiful mystery love story that keep on coming back to the first place they meant. Time is passing by and he is still alone. Yates watches the swans fly away wondering if they will return. The beauty of these pictures and the poem I feel is the mystery of not knowing if the swans are going to come back. Time is passing by and you are never promised the next day. Death by Landscape by Margaret Atwood Death by Landscape is a short story about a woman who has something happened to her as she was a young child. As she got older she started to collect artwork that spoke to her about that time in her life. As I look at this painting I feel alone, I see life and death. In this painting I see death. I feel cold and alone. Scared. I feel peaceful surrounded by trees and water. But I also feel scared maybe trapped in the wads. And in this painting I see maybe there was once joy in life but then it died. These are only a few paintings for this story but all of the paintings had me thinking, feeling, and questioning. I see the beauty in the paintings but why? They did not remind me of a time in my life but looking at each one I was able to let my mind and soul open up to feel what the painting is telling me. Dover Beach by Matthew Arnold As I read this poem I highlighted a few words that stood out to me. Such as sea, faith, petals, love, sadness, return. I feel this poem is about loss of faith, love, sadness, the world, and the struggles of everything. The world is a big beautiful mystery. As I look at these pictures I question what will be next. Withdrawn from life, sad knees, loss of faith. Tired of the struggles that the world has given us. Next we have the Songs of Innocence and of Experience by William Blake. William Blake's work is great because he surrounds his poems with the art he wants. The Songs of Innocence is for young children because they are still innocent living their lives. And Songs of Experience is for adults because they are not innocent they have made mistakings in their lives. Just by looking at this poem The Poison Tree I feel it is about darkness, anger, and lost. Just because the painting looks scary it doesn't mean it's not beautiful. The Blowsome seems free, innocent, young, spiritual, and sad. Beauty is art and art is beauty. You just have to understand the meaning behind the story.